what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel today i am going to be talking to you guys about how i work through this book um it's not going to be a very long video um i promise you it's going to be straight to the point and it's well thought on well thought out and planned so it's not going to be a long video hopefully that's good for you guys hopefully you enjoy that but i know i'm going to enjoy editing a less longer video but anyway enough with me let's get into this book and how i'm going to work through it so guys hi there um so there are three main ways that i go through this book and those three main ways depend on which section which section i am in the book so let's get into the first one so we're gonna cut to sentence building three <laughs> So this one says, "수염이 짧아도 매일 면도해야 돼서 아침에 항상 바빠요." So I start with the, and I complete these on two different days. So, but let's get into what the three things I do. So the first thing I do, step one, is I go through this exercise this practice this conjugation practice and I complete it that's the simple part I just I just go through this complete it I do want to start taking these more into account these um, words here on the side you see right there well right here you see and then in this one you see it right there again I want to start taking those more into account by um, identifying them with my color coding system, figuring out which ones I know, which ones I don't, and all that other good stuff I use my highlighters for. So this is the easy part. I go through this and I finish it. And then of course you have the corrections here on the back. And then this is when day two comes in. So I finish this. This is first day. I don't do anything else. Second day, I come into this part and this is going to be part two see we're going through this really fast guys um it's not going to be a long video but hopefully it's still helpful to you guys so second day that's where we're going to grab these books right here we're going to grab my grammar book grammar notebook sorry grammar note note book my grammar notes <laughs> And then we're going to grab this one that I originally had for vocabulary. We're going to get into this part here. This is the part we're going to get into where I am making sentences. I'm doing writing practice. So there's two types of practice I go through in this book. But let's stay on track, shall we? So then I come and look at this extension practice. And before I even take a look at the extension practice, this is when I write my own example sentences apart from the story that's at the very bottom it says total story here which is just like a full story before i get into this i write sentences that are equivalent that use the um words right here so i write them down as you can see i write them down here so i know which words i'm going to be using and I make my own example sentences using it and de it depends on like I just kind of go with the flow like I don't know what story I'm gonna make up when I write these things so I just go with the flow but yeah um then I come here and look at the extension practice after I've written my own example sentences here to see if I can get any Get any um, other ideas about what what I can do to make this story come alive, and not come alive like this is the main aspect. The main aspect of this is just getting writing practice. But I do this. I come to the extension practice as a means of um, inspiration to see if there's anything I can add from here. Not completely, because then that wouldn't be practicing. That would just be copying. So I come here to see like, oh, maybe I can add ya duel one of these this grammar or maybe I can add this word or something like that and I um, implicated inside of the story but yeah so after I have done that 
I go on to the High Native app. Hold on one second. High Native. Let me zoom in for a second. Screen might shake. Okay. So yeah, so now that we're on here, okay, right here. So this is the second story. This is the first one. This is the first story. And I wrote it in Korean, wrote it in um, English. And I got two unnaturals, which I was expecting because like, guys, I know my writing skills are lacking. So there's a correction for that one. And here's another correction for it. And I haven't posted, yeah, so my second story, I haven't posted that yet, but um, I will post this after the video. And if you follow me on my studygram, you'll see that because I post um, when I get corrections or when I post something on High Native for like um, my um, native help highlight. But anyway, that's besides the point. So after this video, I am going to um, post this on there and if you guys follow me on my study gram you can you'll be able to see it in real time but if you don't it's just the same as my YouTube here the study reckless and you can check that out and stay along for the progress for that one so I'll keep this open but yeah the reason I have my notebook here with me obviously is because um I check to see which grammar would I like to use like getting creative so next up I have my two vocabulary books here because, oops, one second, I, I thought I just shook the, the thing, okay, okay, one second, all right, so I have my two vocabulary books here because I like to utilize these as well, like what words do I want to use, like I can get really advanced with a sentence or I can keep it where it's um, understandable and common conversations casual conversations or whatever um, I'm not utilizing my beginner book anymore for Korean because I finished it a long time ago and I'm now using it for Japanese so that's why you only see these two books here but yeah this is still my favorite one like I said um, I've learned so much with this book here but yeah so I use these two um, I use my, my vocabulary books and my grammar book, notebook, <laughs> to um, figure out how I can get creative with this sentence. So I really recommend that as well. And it doesn't have to be these specific books. You can use other ones like the Essential Korean Grammar Book or you can take a, a, a reading book because I know reading books are really good with having vocabulary in them. Even some grammar books have vocabulary sections at the end of their books or um, or um, within a lesson. So yeah, so that's what I do with this ex extension practice part. Now, to the fun part. The fun part is something I recently just started as well with this total stories. With the example sentence well either way I was going to make example sentences with this book either way I was going to do that I just didn't know they had a speaking practice section for um, people to practice so I decided along with the writing practice I might as well get some speaking practice in and that's when I came up with this cool idea to do like little skits with the speaking practice so here's my first one I utilized hold on I'm loading it it's loading. Let's zoom this in a bit. So here's the first one that I'm utilizing. This one right here. Let me take the... So you can hear it. Like I said, guys, the Wi-Fi. But you can see right there, like, I'm doing, like, a little skit. Playing both people in this conversation. And I've added captions in English and Korean. Now, that one wasn't as creative as I wanted it to be, but that's totally fine because I have a really good idea for this. Here, let me pause this. I have a really good idea for this one because I read over the I read over the script, the English part of it, and I'm going to um 
either make it I'll make it sometime this week so like I said if you want to I'll I'll post it on here as well I gotta remember that we're able to post like real type of videos on here like reels like Instagram reels and anyway um that is what I've, I'm going to do with this section of the book. I'm going to get my speaking practice in by making like fun, creative videos like this. They are going to be more creative and, and much better. This one I wasn't a big fan of. One, because it was the beta. Two, because I was really shooting from an angle I didn't like. I don't like of myself. But it, I didn't want to let that stop me. So guys... Don't let it stop you. If you have anything that's holding you back from doing something like this, don't let it stop you. But yeah, so that's how I complete the each lesson in this book. Just to quickly recap it. Um, let me move this out of the way. Go through this on the first day. Done for the day. Come back the next day, day two. Write some example sentences before I get into my little fake story time. I well, I don't know why I did this. It is a fake story. So before I get into my fake story time, I um, look at if there's any words or grammar expressions I want to utilize and get inspiration from this extension practice section. I'll do that as well. And then I write the little story and then... I'll also make the speaking practice video right here and upload it on my studygram. So that are those are the three steps that I I utilize to those are the three steps I I do to use this book to its fullest potential. Along with making sure when I'm using my when I'm making my example sentences in my story, I'm also using my grammar notebook seeing if I can use any cool different grammars Oop. and then grabbing a good vocabulary book or two and going through those seeing which one would be seeing if I can use some new words or some words I've forgotten stuff like that really getting creative and and um, putting effort into these because they really do help I know it's the beginning and I still make a ton of errors in my writing that is okay with me that is okay. I'm okay with making errors if it means that later down I will be able to see the progress that I've made. So I am okay with that. So that is how I go through this book. I guess that's all. I guess that's all guys. I guess that's it. That's the video. That's how I go through each of the, each of the lessons in this book. They're not long lessons so... Yeah, they just have three parts to them. So I hope that inspired you and I hope that helped you. Um, bonus tip, bonus tip. I would say that this book is a really good accompany, companion, whatever you want to call it. It's really good to go through with it as well. Because this book um, talks about pronunciation. It speaks on pronunciation. And this one is best for sentence building. So... I feel like if you do want to mix in, they do have speaking practice in here. And of course, you have to practice speaking in this one as well. So I feel like these both really help like with speaking out loud. And then here you get to utilize those sentences out loud, real sentences and not just like words they want you to practice with pronunciation. But yeah, I, I guess I'll add that in that this is a good book. So to accompany with it. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. I know it was a little bit short for my types of videos, but I hope this helped you really understand how I go through this book and maybe it inspires you to do it the same way or if not better than mine, maybe you have a more unique way you can go through it, whatever works for you. I always encourage individuality and um, uniqueness in your approach to language learning. So. Again, I hope this inspired you, helped you, and I really recommend this book. By the way, this is just like, this is just like washi tape. This doesn't come on the book. <laughs> but yeah, this is the book. I really like it. And hopefully you guys will be here along for my journey of building my, my, my writing skills. So yeah, like, comment. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, 
And I do take recommendation videos, so if you want to recommend a video, you can leave that in the bottom as well. And subscribe if you want to see more. See you next time.